when people have the audacity to say they want Modern Warfare Year 2 instead of Black Ops Cold War. Read it. Find out who asked. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and this video is a pure example as to why I do not want Zombies maps releasing on all platforms at the same time this year. In a perfect world it would be great and everybody would be happy but unfortunately things get data mined way too quickly and far too easily and I don't think it's going to get any better with Black Ops Cold War. Now I haven't made a dedicated Zombies video in quite some time. You guys probably haven't seen that transit intro in a while either but besides my Rush Hour series every week there just hasn't been much to talk about in regards to zombies but i do assure you guys we are getting very close to the very juicy and official zombies intel that you guys have all been waiting for but tonight we are going to be talking about some very explicit details about the zombies reveal which apparently will be within warzone now nothing that is copyright protected will be shown or heard in this video and this video falls under fair use 100 now before we jump into the zombies reveal just want to let you guys know that the actual teaser for Pawn Takes Pawn that released yesterday during the Call of Duty Championships has now been added as a VHS tape over on the Pawn Takes Pawn website, which is awesome. And there are, of course, some slots for other VHS tapes. Maybe more will be added to the site over the next few weeks. Definitely be on the lookout for that. And we also have yet to actually discover what Treyarch is going to be mailing us if you have completed the Zork Adventure achievement on the new Pawn Takes Pawn page. Hopefully they end up revealing what they're going to be mailing us in the next week or so. But uh, Treyarch also went ahead and tweeted out that if you guys are unfamiliar with the history behind our iconic Black Ops characters like Mason, Woods, and Hudson, and a few others, they're going to be diving deep into each of these characters' backstories this week. They already started today with Alex Mason. That link will, of course, be down below in the description, but I love how they're bringing everybody up to speed with the Black Ops characters. I would love to see a Black Ops 1 campaign remaster released at some point before Black Ops Cold War, but that's, of course, wishful thinking. We probably won't get that. Now, real quick, some breaking news just broke as I was editing this video. So PlayStation decided to drop a Black Ops Cold War Digital Edition breakdown video and at the very end of the video it does say on PS4 November 13th. We knew that but then right below it it says PS5 coming holiday 2020 for the US and Canada. So holiday 2020 is likely around Thanksgiving time in November and below that it says PS5 coming late 2020 for the rest of the world. So yes the rumor was true. The rumor that a lot of people didn't want to believe which is that there is a shortage of playstation 5s for whatever the reason maybe because of covid and with that being said the console isn't going to release until probably late december for the rest of the world which is a bit unfortunate but honestly it makes sense with everything that's going on right now now when it comes to zombies tom henderson himself the goat long sensation already made it clear that the zombies reveal won't be for another four to six weeks but that doesn't mean we can't see anything small before that that is certainly possible but he also went ahead and made it clear, I think it was like two days ago, that there are two more events in Warzone that will be associated with Black Ops Cold War that'll probably launch in the next month and a half. So that's really exciting to think about. I think one of those events will probably be something to do with the nuke that is in Bunker 10. Maybe the nuke will be like the last event that transitions us into the new Warzone map. That's just the best guess that everybody has. But one of those events may be tied to zombies. And here is why. Not only do we expect a zombie zombies mode to be coming into Warzone, but the audio that was found for it is very damn fascinating and actually makes me wonder if zombies will be continued in Warzone even when Treyarch's Call of Duty is not the prime Call of Duty of the time. Maybe even when Modern Warfare 2 drops, zombies will still be updated to some extent and it could be within Warzone. Now you guys might remember that a couple of months ago I made a video about the scrapped Modern Warfare zombies mode and I also went in detail about how there would have been a zombies mode in Warzone as well and Shortly after I made that video, when people started digging through the files of the alpha build of Call of Duty 2020 known as the Red Door, they also found information about WZZM, which is a Warzone Zombies mode. And then as of recently, probably like a week or so ago, there was a huge data mine dump that was found within Modern Warfare's files for a Zombies Royale mode. And the scale of it seems pretty damn big to the point where I think it's either going to be a part of some type of big event, similar to the one we just saw recently. 
easily, or it could even be something like the theme of Season 6 or 7 within Modern Warfare. That's if they go that far with the season. So on screen, I'm going to be putting a couple of the quotes that I've already heard, because the audio is available to the public, because somebody, of course, was bold enough to post it on YouTube. You guys can easily find it. I cannot link it to you guys without getting in trouble, but on screen, I will put the actual quotes from the audio that we've heard. Zombies Royale, zombies are not affected by the gas, zombies are more powerful in the gas, defend the chopper, you become a zombie if you die, raise the dead at buy stations, you have regained your humanity so you can actually turn back into a human which is crazy, consume the remains of the dead to regain your humanity, he was dead, we were sure he was dead but he got up, holy shit. So yes, zombies are coming to Warzone whether anybody likes it or not but here's the thing right, this is essentially going to be turned from Black Ops 2 and kind of like Pandemic from Blackout but on an even bigger scale here where you'll get to play as a zombie yet again so it just makes me wonder what the storyline of zombies is going to be with Black Ops Cold War and whether or not the zombies we see in Warzone will connect fluently into that and then as I said earlier maybe even when Black Ops Cold War is out of its core cycle and Mono Warfare 2 comes out could zombies continue in that as well if everybody receives the zombies Warzone mode very well and all of a sudden Infinity Ward's like all right well everybody likes it and Activision wants to continue it so let's do it. It just makes me wonder what the future of zombies is because as I said before they took a break this year with Modern Warfare but when it comes to Black Ops Cold War zombies I think this will be the last straw right? If this doesn't turn out well and zombies just doesn't do well overall I think zombies is done but if everything goes to plan everybody loves zombies in Black Ops Cold War everybody loves the Warzone zombies mode I'm pretty sure zombies will be here to stay. I've also heard rumors that zombies will be returning to COD Mobile at some point in the future too so zombies is gonna make a comeback but Activision is definitely waiting for the right time to do it all and as we've already seen confirmed by Treyarch zombies maps will be free this year in Black Ops Cold War and crossplay will be available for the zombies mode so at this point they have all the ingredients for perfection how could zombies possibly fail this time around you have crossplay you're gonna have crazy easter egg hunts the maps are gonna be free the player base should never be low right like it was in Black Ops 4 there are so many advantages they have right now for the zombies mode that if they play their cards right this could be one of the strongest zombies modes to date as of right now what was found includes two zombies maps for launch zm underscore silver and zm underscore pink they use colors before for zombie map names within black ops 4's code they use colors like zm underscore white zm underscore orange and some others as well so it doesn't surprise me they're doing that once again with call of duty 2020 but it looks like we are getting two launch zombies maps which i think is very promising and since there isn't a season pass it doesn't seem like there will be any type of bonus zombies map that releases at launch but maybe they could announce one as a surprise closer to release if you get the collector's edition or the playstation 5 bundle maybe they'll throw something in like that but something i wanted to go into that was brought up by prestigious key the goat himself is that what if the playstation locked exclusive is dead ops arcade 3 we know that the terminal that was revealed to us in yesterday's teaser is something that we used back in black ops 1 to also access Dead Ops Arcade 1. So maybe this time we'll access Dead Ops Arcade 3 through something very similar, but what if that is the PlayStation Locked exclusive? It'll piss people off, no doubt about that, but that's definitely better than locking like a small survival map or a game mode in Zombies, such as Grief Returned, behind PlayStation exclusivity. Now, it isn't confirmed that we're going to be getting something locked like that, similar to Survival from Modern Warfare 2019, but considering PlayStation is a partner with Black Ops Cold War this year, it just wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Now lastly, I'm sure you guys have all heard whispers about the exact zombies maps we're going to see at the launch of Black Ops Cold War. We have first off heard that Vietnam will be a setting for one of the zombies maps, and we then heard that something quite different is going to be the second zombies map, and it'll be some type of remake of Transit. So that gets my hopes up. That, yeah, we're going to see a very classic experience for everybody out there who's an OG fan. Then we're going to see something very new that a lot of people probably won't like right away, but over time may warm up to similar to Shadows of Evil from Black Ops 3 because Black Ops 3 had the perfect balance at launch, right? You had something very different like Shadows of Evil that was going in a new direction, taking the story someplace else and dealing with new gameplay mechanics. Then you had something very simple that launched alongside it, which was the Giant. So it seems like they're probably going to be going with the same approach this time around with Black Ops Cold War. Get us used to something very different, but while doing that, to kind of ease the pain a little bit, drop something very classic as well so that everybody out there who is a Zombies fan can enjoy what is to come but that is about it everybody this has been dk dynamite leave all your thoughts on this down
down below in the comment section what do you guys want to see with the zombies royale mode within warzone and will you guys even play warzone even if zombies gets added to it there's a lot of people out there who just don't like warzone but will zombies motivate you to try it out a little bit more that is about it and peace out everyone